Thank you for joining us tonight. We begin with the clash between small businesses and big city development. This week, the St. Paul City Council voted unanimously to add bike lanes on 9th and 10th Street, despite objections from business owners in the area. They say taking away street parking on top of COVID-19 could be a recipe for closures. WCCO's Aaron Asanzada has the story. It was an opportunity to be in a downtown neighborhood with lots of people moving in and, and lots of excitement. Black Sheep Pizza owner Jordan Smith opened up on the corner of 10th and Robert Street in downtown St. Paul nine years ago. Now he's second guessing that decision. Had I known that it was going to be no street parking and surrounded by one ways, that is a much different restaurant location than what we purchased. The St. Paul City Council voted unanimously Wednesday to move forward with adding bike lanes to parts of 9th and 10th Street in St. Paul, taking away much of the already limited street parking from several businesses. I feel a little bit defeated. I wouldn't have bought the space. Carol Hun Gregory owns Keys Cafe next door to Black Sheep. Why would you take a whole city block and just take away all the parking and then expect business owners to thrive. Neighboring business owners at Sawati say the move could severely impact businesses already dealing with the fallout from COVID-19. I would say 90 plus percent park on that street. We are hearing how important the curbside pickup is and the decisions by the city and the county are effectively eliminating our curbside. Subsidized parking spots and nearby ramps are being discussed, but at a time when business is already tough, these owners are apprehensive. It makes an almost impossible environment to, to want to run a small restaurant in. Somebody isn't going to go park in a ramp to come and pick up food and leave. All we're asking for is just some more parking. But like with COVID-19, this hurdle will force them to get creative to survive. As my mother says, it's not a problem, it's an opportunity. So I have to look for the opportunities. This piece didn't work out, but you know, we're there for the long haul, so we'll figure it out. Aaron Hassanzada, WCCO 4 News. Work on the project is set to begin this fall. Mayor Melvin Carter's team says it is aware of the concerns and values feedback and that concerns will be considered in the city's COVID-19 response.